Hello folks, you guys probably bought the XSplit Broadcaster, or you potentially are trying out the beta now, and you're having a little bit of problems trying to set this beast up. Now this is a pretty potent piece of software that allows you to stream multiple streams as well as uh, web cameras, cameras, and all kinds of things. It's really a good piece of software. There's a couple kinks and dinks that need to be sorted out, and it does have some complications with certain capture devices. But with that said, let's get into how do you actually use it. Now you, let's show you how to set up the resolutions first. So we're going to go into tools, general settings, I'm going to go into resolutions, and now you're going to see here this is all left blank. But if we go into, first thing you want to click is uh, 3200 by 2400, which is a 4 by 3 which I probably butchered how you pronounce that or say it correctly, but whatever. You guys have seen the point. Uh, 400 by 300, which again is 4.3, or 4 by 3. And, uh, well, 64 by... Th I mean, again, if you just look right here, you generally see how this set that up. It's 16 by 9, uh, 4 by 3. Again, if you're using stuff such as this, just click all these. Don't go any higher unless you think you know you have a good enough computer to run something beefy like that. I have the highest it's going to go is uh, 2880 by 7200 and it's 16 by 9 HD video, which is used for component cable stuff for HDMI, uh, blah, 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 lick my nipples. But again, that's the highest my monitor can go, or my TV can go, rather. I mean, again, that's pretty much... All the resolutions you can use it does quite huge re resolutions which is quite beefy again like I said before this is a pretty potent piece of software but make sure those are all clicked and to add a source which would be your capture device you're gonna make sure the consoles turned on and you're gonna make sure it's set to the proper settings for it to you know normally be able to work and what you do is just click add uh, add a camera, which will give you these options right here, and we'll just click that, for example. And you'll see right here, my camera's moving a little bit, but that's just an example how it would work. Very simple. And if you hear noise, I do apologize. I'm just showing you the uh, how it would work generally. And another example is you can actually move this right here the uh, screen here anywhere you'd want it on the map so if you're showing multiple feeds of yourself uh, on someone on Skype whatever it will actually be able to be moved and while I have the uh, Roxy open I also have my Dazzle on as well and I also got Star Wars for the 32X on there which is not a bad game but anyway as you guys can see it can do multiple feeds at once and it's quite simply put you gotta go down here click add again find the camera which is again would be the source which is this stuff right here your capture devices and that's practically how it works very simple not too challenging but again if you do have some problems with your audio syncing with the uh, it connecting to the uh, Justin TV or the twitch TV that you're happening to be using then you know you might have to you know do an FAQ for the specific piece of hardware you're using or the capture device you're using and you know make sure uh, it's everything's on par check your internet connection etc etc rather rinse repeat nipples will be rubbed today but again as you can see both streams are working quite diligently they're working pretty good and heck I've actually seen some people actually use uh, multiple sources uh, multiple capture devices on the same computer which was like a, some beefy ass computer and they actually hooked up like a bunch of HDMI freaking uh, pieces of equipment and hooked up to the computer and had like multiple streams beat multiple people's xboxes going on at once and you saw like a couple teams just like you know streaming their stuff but heck that's pretty awesome the software is pretty awesome and how you would actually go on about hooking up to a uh, twitch tv is you would have to set up an account through twitch tv slash dressing tv then you'd have to put your username and your password into this right here now this is endorsed by Twitch TV slash Justin TV, so you know they're not gonna bootleg your shit kind of thing. So you don't have to worry about that. I mean, if they do, 
what can you do? Just make a new account. It's not that big of a deal. If you have a big fan base, people will understand. But there you go, guys. That's practically how you use this device. And again, if you don't like any of these feeds, just go dink, remove it. And if you want to just make this the main center of show, just go like that. Makes it big again. Happy Dory. So with that said, I hope you guys learned something from using this piece of software. Uh, another question probably is going to be asked is how you set up the audio. Again, that's pretty self-explanatory here. Uh, that I keep forgetting it doesn't work for some strange reason why I'm recording like this. So you go into general and you click on general it'll ask you silence detection so if there's like no talking it actually mutes you so if you have like loud noises it'll actually go clink and remove that i'm using my microphone through my web camera here so again you guys can see how i'm recording this through uh said means so yeah that's practically how the device works you set the audio to your microphone or your capture device's uh sound and it should be able to detect it and read it. If it doesn't, you know, I'm not a humongous expert on stuff like that. You might have to do an FAQ depending on what piece of software you have. If you really, 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 really cannot find anything, just contact, just put a comment down below. Yeah, I can't, I, nice da 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 da, and I'll say, you know, try to get you a link or tell you where to go. And I won't tell you to go to hell, I promise. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's practically how the device works. Pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. So again, I hope this helped you out, and take it easy, folks.